Australia is set to double its surface fleet in the coming years. The United States have fired over 200 million US dollars in interceptors against uh, aerial targets by the Houthis, which in turn have for the first time used an unmanned underwater vehicle. The big news is that Australia is set to double its surface fleet because of the threats posed by Russia and China. The nation intends to spend roughly 11.1 billion Australian dollars, roughly 7.25 billion US dollars or 6.7 billion euros on that extension of the fleet. In the end, it will give them the biggest fleet that Australia had since World War II. Australia plans to get six hunter class frigates, 11 general purpose frigates, three air warfare destroyers and six state-of-the-art surface warships that do not need to be crewed. That's the explanation they're going to give us. So basically six ships that are uh, huge drone ships. At the same time, uh, Australia would, in this context, increase its defense spending from a current estimate of 2.1% to 2.4% of GDP. Then the United States Navy has now published the numbers in the interceptors they have used against the Houthis. They say they have by now roughly used 100 interceptors, SM2 and SM6, against the Houthis. The price for each is two respective 4 million US dollars. So somewhere between 200 and 400 million dollars have been spent just on the defense against aerial targets, be it anti-ship ballistic missiles, be it anti-ship cruise missiles, be it drones that have been intercepted in the Red Sea. This does not include the airstrikes against Houthi targets in Yemen, and this does not include, while not paid by the US, the damage that is done to the worldwide economy and Egypt in particular, which was already in economic trouble and is currently basically lacking almost all of the fees from the Suez Canal. And finally, the US Central Command has said on September um, 8, 18th that on September, September 17th, they intercepted three mobile anti-ship cruise missiles and, and that's the interesting part, one unmanned underwater vehicle. So basically an underwater drone fired or used by the Houthis. In the past, uh, just three days before, the US Central Command has also published pictures showing the interception of smuggled weaponry or weapon parts from Iran to the Houthis. And some of them seem to show that uh, they are containing parts that would likely be used in unmanned underwater vehicles. This was it from me for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more. That's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.